Hey, how's it going, everybody? I was just working on some edit and um, workflow automations, and I just came across an issue. So Google is really good with their native API uses and it in its platform right now, but kept running into an issue to where there was no Google Maps, no routes or anything. And there's really not too many resources online for when it comes to N8 and especially. And so after spending so much time on it, I finally found the way to do it. And so I figured I'd just go ahead and post it for everybody else to check out as well. So go into that. Here is going to be the actual workflow itself. So this is going to be a very bare bone kind of basic one. So just start off with a basic form submission. Looking into that. It's just going to have two elements. It's going to have your starting address and your ending address. Um, I don't think it really matters how long it really needs. I just have the street address plus the zip code and all that as well for you. So you're going to get that. You're going to feed it into two HTTP requests. So this first one here, what it does, you're going to have to get your API from Google, um, Google basically workspace. It's a pretty easy process. Just go in there and get your API. And this post method, or sorry, the HTTP request method, it's going to use this, this um, URL here. It's going to input your starting address that you got from the form submission, and it's going to take your API key. So I went ahead and just deleted mine. So you're going to ahead and replace yours with the, or replace the your key here with your key itself. And what it's going to do is, instead of getting actual addresses and just putting into Google Routes, Google Routes actually uses coordinates for their system. So this right here is actually going to get coordinates back for you. Good example of that right here for you. So you'll see basically just kind of the addresses and stuff. Um, looks like it's even better here actually. So here you'll see kind of the latitude, longitude, things along those lines and instructions. That's for a later part, but go back into it and you will have to merge them just so you can get them both into the same node. The ending address does the exact same thing, but this is where it gets cool. You get into the Git route, Again, kind of going to have to put your API key here, but what it does is go down here. It's going to have your latitude and longitude for your starting origin. Then the destination is we're going to have the ending, and then you're going to have a lot of data come out here, pretty much everything that has to do with the route. So going into mine, that's where you're basically going to get all this information. Or Sorry, not even that spot. You're going to get your information basically having it in there. So everything's going to come out. There's just going to be so much detail. There's going to be a lot of um, repetitive things. And so that's where this next node comes in. So get the route, then it goes in to get all the directions. So what it's going to do is it's really just going to go through, only get the specific routes for you and the steps from the legs. Pretty basic, but what it does, very clean, all instructions, literally step by step for you. So this is a very basic, you know, limited kind of thing. It's really just gonna get you steps, but that's what, you know, Google Maps already does for you. But good example, I'm actually using this right now to make a lead generation software. So what it's gonna do is gonna have obviously the starting point and end point, but it's gonna generate businesses along that route to go visit. Obviously a lot of businesses still do the in-person kind of sales. So that's exactly where this is gonna come in. It's gonna provide all those free leads for you without having to do all the task of going online and doing it yourself. So yeah, I was just so happy I was able to find some online sources to get here in the first place and I figured help other people in my situation. So if you guys found this amusing, appreciate you. Um, hope you can subscribe or like it or anything, but yeah, appreciate you, take care.